A mind at peace, a life at peace. Take heart and carry on. The late Master Sun Yen, founder of Dharma Drum Mountain, once said, "In all situations, make sure to take good care of your mind by remaining calm and stable within." And that represents. The spiritual environmental protection. During this pandemic period, it is all the more important to practice protecting our spiritual environment. During the lunar calendar New Year, the new coronavirus, COVID nineteen, outbreak caused a global epidemic that has so far claimed. Thousands of lives, forcing all of us to readjust our lives. As Buddhists believe that the Buddha is the great medicine king, so let us pray to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas that this pandemic can soon come to an end, and that all people can enjoy peace, health. Happiness and well-being. During this pandemic, those who are experiencing suffering manifest themselves as great bodhisattvas, while the medical and healthcare workers, who are saving the suffering people, act like bodhisattvas. They need more support and understanding from the general public. As many are deeply concerned about both their own and their family's health, DDM would like to urge people to follow the advice and guidelines by the public health authorities to better protect themselves and those around them, as an effort to safeguard each other. In addition to physical well-being. Please also take care of your mental well-being by protecting your spiritual environment. Our mind is the master of our body. With a good mental well-being, even when we are physically not well, we can still lead a peaceful and healthy life. When we are faced with a difficult situation. It is most important to develop a mind of compassion, understanding, and empathy. It also helps if we can practice Master Shen Yan's insightful proposal: four steps for handling a problem. Face it, accept it, deal with it, and let it go. Whether we are in a favorable condition or in adversity, what we always have is the present moment, the most complete and optimal time. We should take the public well-being as our own responsibility, and constantly put our effort in the present moment. There is no need to linger on and regret the past, and we should have a shared aspiration and vision of the future, rather than indulging in illusionary imagination, anxiety, and worry. Furthermore, we can practice two concepts derived from the Chan teachings. As proposed by Master Shen Yan, reverse thinking and responding by accommodating to the situation. With reverse thinking, we can regard this pandemic as a task to be accepted, and see this crisis as a trial and opportunity to improve ourselves. 
responding by accommodating to the situation means we need to act according to the given causes and conditions. While making an effort to use collective wisdom, share resources, and join strength so as to mitigate the crisis based on the current situation. So, let us all strive forward together. As the saying goes, heaven helps those who help themselves. In all situations, we should embrace hope and believe that the sun will always come out after the rain. When getting through this challenging time, we will definitely have a bright future of great light. With peace of mind, we will be able to cultivate peace of body. With a mind at peace, we will have a life in peace. We wish everyone peace and well-being. Venerable Guo Hui, Abbot President of Dharma Drum Mountain, translated by Cheng Chen Yu, edited by Song, Elenda Huang, Keith Brown, and Cha Cheng Cheng.